constantly goes on. Hey, how you doing everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone's doing well. Today I'm going to be talking to you about a really exciting new product from the Nanlite Pavo tube lineup. So you, if you're familiar with Nanlite, you'll be familiar with their tubes. I'm pretty sure of it. So the first generation was this guy here, which is the 15C. And then there's also a 30C as well. Um, really impressive tube in terms of its functionality. It has RGB um, sort of functionality. So the ability to change, to change a range of different colors, has special effects in there, is a, is a well sealed uh, tube light, which is pretty cool. It's not IP rated or anything like that, but it was just a great tube. Um, now this is probably four years old like you had a, a version before this and then they were rebranded so four years old or so or maybe even longer maybe even five years old phenomenal product really impressive it still comes into great use today you can see that i've got a couple of 30 c's behind me just light in the backdrop brilliant then there was the introduction of this guy last year and this basically is the x series so the x series introduced things like uh, DMX control also has things such as pixel effects, so the ability to split this tube down into different segments, up to 16 different segments, and light them all individually to create some really impressive special effects, such as sequencing, like channeling light, uh, recreating rainbows, all that sort of stuff. So real top-end, top-end features. You know, Anyone who is familiar with tubes would have come across things like Astera. This thing competes with Astera, and, and you know, it's really fantastic in terms of its offering. You can buy these individually, or you can buy them in groups groups of up to eight. Whereas I think with some of the other tubes, you can only buy them in those configurations four and eight. So this is a really great intro into sort of using tubes with like special effects and, you know, high top end features. So the X series is really, really, really impressive. So in front of me, you can see I've got the, the 15C, I've got the 15X, and then now, so we've literally just dropped this guy. So I've just posted this just after we've done our live announcement of this guy here. So this is the 7X. Now the 7X is a lot longer than the two original tubes in front of it. So this is actually a meter long, so it's three foot in total. The others are, are two foot. Now this is dramatically lighter. So hugely lighter because they've taken away some of the functionality that's on the original two tubes. And the reason they've taken them away is to make it more affordable, to, to give people the option to buy this tube and have access to top end features without the price tag associated and that's really rare so i think it's well worth bearing that in mind now it's super light in terms of its build you can see here i was finding the balancing point of it earlier and you can see here like it's pretty easy to find the balancing point 280 grams i think it is to find the balancing point and control it it has a hexagonal design now all of the pavo tubes have that and what that means is as you turn them they stay seated, even though they're cylinder, it means that the, the light beam that you're angling channels in the direction you want. And that's consistent for all of the ranges. Um, so if I put them in kind of their, yeah, so you can see in their, their length, this also has it. So the 7X has that as well. So the ability to kind of like stay in one position in, as you're channeling it, which I think is, is, is really, really, really impressive. Obviously I work for Nanlite, I'm biased in my opinion. I've used the 15C to great extent, I've used the 30X and the 15X to great extent. This is new to me and I'm really in love with it because it offers the functionality that both of these has at a fraction of the cost and even more than the, 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 the 15C. So this has some more functionality than the 15C. It doesn't have a menu, we've taken away the LCD display and you can see that, so I've got a camera above me here, so you can see by looking around it, there is no LCD display as you would have with the other two. So this guy here, you can see that there is an LCD display there, and that's going to give you kind of input into all of the functionality. You can have a little nose at, at that little screen up there, gives you an idea of what's going on. Um, and then also with the, the 15X, you can see that there's an LED screen that's going to allow you to control all the functionalities. And that's a great feature, of course, to be able to see what you're doing on the tube itself. But with the introduction of the Nanlink application, what we've been able to do now is take away the LCD screen and stuff like that and, and reduce the cost of it. So it doesn't mean we've made it cheaper. We've been really intelligent and said, OK, right, now we know we can control through the application. Let's take away some of the things that make it expensive to manufacture and give this to you know, a lot of other creatives. So if you wanted to do light painting, you've got the option to do it. Um, if you wanted to create a whole host of really impressive special effects, you can now do that as well. So in terms of the unboxing, I'm gonna pot these two away. So bear me two seconds, I'm just gonna chuck them up there because we're not talking about those two today, unfortunately. So I'm just gonna pop those up there. In terms of 
unboxing. Now, they come in two configurations, so you can buy them individually or you can buy them in groups of four. So this is the, the four kit. So you can see here, stick those in there. I've got four tubes, four, four pixel effects tubes with DMX and stuff like that in, in this carry case, which I think is really, really impressive. So, you know, the carry case is, is great. It's got a shoulder strap that you can adjust at the top here. If I just pull this open, there's a little pop up flap and that has all of your USB-C uh, chargers. So all of your chargers in there. And because it's like sort of in terms of its power, its wattage, all the rest of it, because it's sort of lower than some of the other stuff, you can just charge it through USB-C to USB-A, which you know makes it even more versatile to charge it on and off set. So pop these out. You can see here that we've got, you know, just take them all out. Kind of, they feel they feel a bit like samurai swords to a certain degree, and I think for the light painters out there that are going to use it for that capacity, then yeah, there's obviously a pill there for for kind of using it in hand. So in terms of the initial form factor, we've got four of them here. So the four kit come in that case. The individual ones don't. You can see that it's got that hexagonal design that we've spoken about, and that's gonna allow you to kind of place it on the floor and project that beam of light in any angle. Um, you can also see that that's on that part there. So it's got a well sort of designed grip, which you can use to, to kind of point it. Is that gonna focus on that at all? Probably not. Um, so you've got a grip at this end here. If I can show you the point end. There we go, you can have a little nose at what's going on down the end. Probably easier if I show you the camera over the head. So in here, you can see that we have got power at the top, CCT hue here, um, and then brightness here with a USB-C port in here. Now, the brightness functionality steps up in 20% increment. So if, for instance, you wanted to go to 100% brightness, you'd have to push the button five times. Now, the reason for that is because there's no LED screen, so you can't step up in kind of other steps. So one, two, three, four, five, back to zero. One, two, three, four, five, back to zero. Um, so you know it's gonna go up in 20%. So you could basically say, okay, right, give me 20%, not enough, 40%, 60%, okay, that's cool. If I need to go back to zero, two more times, and then you, you bounce back through. Now, this is where the app comes into it. If you wanna control this in, in sort of one step increments, then obviously you use the app basically. The Nanlink app will give us full control over all of these tubes as in groups or as individual tubes as well. Um, you, in terms of the other stuff you've got going on in there as well, there's a quarter 20. So the quarter 20 is great. I don't think I've got any grip to kind of mount it to now, but a quarter 20 is gonna allow you to kind of mount that to, to a lot of like well-known fixtures. So you can stick a little loophole in there, a um, little cable, you know, stick it on a stand, you name it. You can, you can sort of connect it to, to have it mounted. You might decide you want them all stood up right. You might decide you want them hanging at different angles or all hanging down or create a box out of them or something along those lines. So you can create those quite easily. Also bear in mind the weight. Now, normally rigging stuff, the weight is what tends to be the issue. It's like you've got to find the right kind of rig to, to put into that space. You know, this, I could use heavy duty double-sided Velcro and I could stick this to a ceiling, no problem at all and it's gonna stay there. I can control it through the application. So really and truly, these are not just aimed at light painting photographers, these really do cover the full spectrum. So you could be an amateur photographer that wants to get into light painting, but you could also be a top end cinematographer that wants to shoot a music video for Steve Aoki with, you know, a hundred of these all doing different lighting effects to create, you know, the, the, the illusion of kind of like a, a moving tunnel as such. You know, you can, the whole spectrum, these will allow you to cover, which I think is pretty impressive. Uh, I've got a little PowerPoint presentation in front of me, so I'm gonna talk you through some of them. So in terms of what's in the box, if you buy the one kit, you'll get a tube, a manual, and a charger for it. That's just in the one kit. If you get the four kit, you'll get the case, you'll get four uh, charging cables, four tubes, obviously your manual, and stuff along those lines. I personally think the four kit is, is the way to go. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> <coughs> Whoa. Um, yeah, so I think the four kit is the way to go. And if you've seen these launch and you've seen our TVC, you can see that as part of that TVC, we had like a DJ set um, and loads of these, like almost hundreds of these tubes set up, either controlled through DMX or CMX, either through DMX um, or through the app, basically controlling the functionalities of these. 
which is pretty impressive. So DMX on a tube uh, at less than a hundred pounds. So in the US, these would be priced at less, like like ninety five dollars. The conversion rates to the UK pots these around about seventy two, seventy five. I'd imagine most retailers will probably come in at seventy four ninety nine, maybe seventy nine ninety nine, depending on kind of carriage and all that sort of jazz. So um, yeah, well worth bearing that in mind. One meter long, as I said before, it weighs two hundred and eighty grams on its own. It weighs absolutely nothing. In terms of the light output, so we're sat CRI is basically 96 average, which is deemed as like professional, which is kind of the standard you would go to. So it's going to be accurate in its colors. Um, the TLC, TCR, TLCI is 97. So again, a professional standard. What you've come to know across all of our fixtures, it's using the it's using a similar RGB WW chipset as some of our other stuff. So, you know, if you're used to the lights from our other range, such as mixed panel, PavoTube 6C, PavoTube X, um, it's going to be using the same array of chips. So, um, so you know your, the quality of color you're going to get is going to be consistent with our other lines. Um, I don't have uh, a load of color checking tools. If you want to kind of see what we like for color um, fidelity, head over to Andrew Locke or Gaffer and Gears uh, YouTube channel. He does some really good tests on all of our products, and you'll get a very honest opinion in terms of how we fare. Which I think we fare pretty well, and particularly this is less than a hundred dollars, less than a hundred pounds. I think the quality of this is going to compete with you know all of the other stuff in our range, uh, and you're not going to be let down through having affordable light with poor light quality. It's going to be an affordable light with good light quality, as you've come to know through the Nan Light brand. In terms of the CCT range, so that's basically our, our color spectrum. So if I just turn this on now, so you can see um, if I, what I'm going to do is just connect this to my app and I'll show you. I think it's way easier just to connect them to apps. Um, so bear me two seconds. I've just got to try and find my right tube. Actually, I'll show you this on here because I've got an above the screen kind of set up uh, actually the lighting is probably really dark no i'm not going to show you on that because the light is really dark so i want to connect these so what i'm basically doing is I'll, I'll talk you through it so i resetting the bluetooth so i'm going to reset the bluetooth on all of these hold all three buttons down then it will go blue that's telling you that the the bluetooth is reset going blue to tell you it's reset so i'm going to turn this chap on as well I'm gonna reset this. I'm gonna do all of them basically to show you how easy it is to connect all four of these to the app. So switch them on. And then reset all of these bad boys. Dun, dun, dun. So you can see that that's reset. And then last one. I think it's just easier to show them all. Like I've been so impressed with how well these have all worked. I just want to, to kind of demonstrate that and just let you know. So reset them all. I think resetting them is just a good protocol to take whenever you're reusing them on different different scenes or different setups, just, just reset them. Now on the app, I basically wanna create a new scene. I'm gonna call these seven X's. I'm gonna to go to create um, and then it's gonna ask me to find these fixtures. Add, these don't have 2.4 radio frequency. They're all Bluetooth, okay? So there is no option to connect them through the Nanlink app via 2.4. Um, it will all be via Bluetooth. So within the app, you hit Bluetooth and then I basically have got, I don't know if you can see that in there, four options. I don't know if you can see that in there. Within that, you see that there's four options. I'm gonna add all four of those. Done connect to those these are all going to connect to the app and you can see that this is really seamless i'm using iso we now have an android version of it as well so it just takes a few seconds to get these all connected as it's all connecting i'll sort of talk you through some of the other functionalities it's a built-in battery um so in terms of running it at full power you're going to get about 56, around about an hour worth of battery life. At 20%, you're gonna get 3.5 hours battery. If you drop it down to 10%, obviously you're gonna effectively double that, so you can be expecting sort of five to six hours. In terms of what 100% looks like and 20% looks like, once these all connect to the app, I'll show you those, so you can make an idea of like, well, you know, you, you'd think to yourself for this price, 100% isn't gonna produce much light. Um, you'd actually be surprised, there's quite a fair bit of light coming out of these. The, the w, RGB WW chipset are quite powerful in, in that sense. So you do get a lot of light as opposed to traditional kind of chipsets or even just, you know, w, RGB, or sorry, RGB chips as opposed to the RGB WW. So I'm just waiting for this last little one 
to connect in now. You can see that that's on three of four. Um, on four of four, once they all connect and sync, I'll have those all in and I'll show you these. In, charge, in terms of charging time, so if you've already seen this on the live launch, it will take two hours to charge them. Now, in terms of charging, what I have here is, I'll show you this. This basically, whee, this is basically my like USB hub. So I'll unplug everything. You can see in there, I have, there's loads of USB ports. So these are really great to have. Get one of these guys and just basically charge everything. Off of here, I've got, you know, my iPhone charger, a USB-C, a micro USB, um, every kind of, like every charging adapter you could imagine, I've got them plugged into here. And I just have it next to my, next to me here. So if I need to charge anything. So if you wanted to charge four of these, really easy to do so. Now, what I wanted to do is, I'm gonna turn off some of these. Let me turn all of these off. Okay, so they're all switched off. Um, one of them is doing that. So I'm gonna take one of these chaps. Let me work out what one this is. Cool, now that's this one here. So here is 20%. So that's 20% brightness. And bear in mind, in front of me, I'm being lit by a mix panel 150 at 100%. My window's open as well. I've got Pavo tubes behind me. So there's quite a lot of light in here already. You can see at 20%, it's, it's, it's not being overkilled by these. Now, if I turn this up to 100%, that's now 100%. There's a fair bit of light coming off this. You can see in that space there. And you can also see one of these is doing a pixel effect, so a, a scrolling pixel effect on there. So making use of those 16 separate pixel groups to be able to create this sequence of light, which you can't get at this price point. That You have to pay hundreds to get this. This is less than hundreds. So it really is a, a, a standout product in, in terms of like the price point and the functionality. So 100%, you'll get an hour's worth of battery life out of this. So if I just drop that down like so, and then, in terms of power, so in terms of like powering, power through USB-C, it will be USB-C to USB, or USB-A to USB-C. Now, everybody is moving to USB-C configuration, but some people will have a USB-C cable and it will be USB-A at the other end. All cables defer to the lowest denominator. So if you've got an USB-A to USB-C, it's basically a USB-A. The reason it has a USB-C is because of its form factor. Everybody is going to USB-C as, as a universal standard. That's not just unique to Nanlite. Some people are kicking off saying, oh, you're using cheap, cheap kind of formation and, and it's not actually USB-C. It is USB-C in terms of its form factor. And to give you an example of that, these are Adidas headphones. These things are like 70 odd pounds to buy. Adidas is a massive global brand. The, the charging cable for this, you can't use a USB-C to USB-C. You have to use a USB-A to USB-C. So it's not just unique to Nanlite. All brands are moving to USB-C um, because it's now becoming the industry standard between ISO and between Android. Whereas before there was all different cables for different brands. It's now becoming a universal standard, which is, which is much needed, a bit like HDMI. So not just us. So you'll charge it for a USB-C um, and all of the cables come with it in the case or in the box. We also have what's called a wire controller. Because this doesn't have a display menu, what you can do with a wire controller is you plug that into the device and it will give you a menu, similar to what you've seen on things like our Pavo Tube 6C and also some of our other units. So you've got full control of the functionality even though you don't have a display. So you don't have to use the app. You can just pump them in you know, using the, the wired controller if you didn't want to use the app, for instance. If you had you know, if you're setting up a 50 of these lights and there's two of you, one person can use the app, the other person can use the wire control and you go around and just configure them all together as opposed to having to do them all on the phone or just do them on the wire controller. So it's just an accessory you can add on to, yeah, to kind of like improve the efficiency of setting up. You can also control like power them through power banks. So for instance, knowing at 100%, I'm only gonna get an hour's worth of battery life. If for instance, I wanted to get two or three hours worth of battery life, I would connect it to um, a power bank, mount that up to wherever I've rigged it, and away you go, I can extend that battery life. If the battery starts to run down, I can plug a new one in, and away I go. So just some options that are in front of you there. And then obviously you've got the app control. So I'm gonna show you some of the things on the app control here. So if I just turn on this guy here, the rest of them all switched off. 
the, the feature you'll want to know about, the, everything else is pretty standard and it's, you kind of come to know it on our, of our devices. So CCT is our bi color option. HSI is going to give you the option to access 36,000 different colors. You can take a photo of a color and it will replicate it. Um, but what everyone really wants to know is the pixel effects. So you go into the pixel effects, you can see here, if you just look at the table in front of me, um, let me just turn the brightness down and you'll start to see it. You can see the pixel effects. So I've got two tubes doing two different things on pixel effects at less than a hundred dollars or less than you know a hundred pounds which is really 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 impressive um, one of the other things you can do as well so for instance i've got all of these tubes here now what i want to do is i want to create a fixture group now this is where these are going to come most into play as you know you've got four lights you're going to want to create a fixture group um, so what you do is go into the app create a group i'm going to add all of these guys into that group give it a few seconds to set it up um, so it's going to take a few seconds to set up and what I can do is it might be worth just kind of they I haven't got I haven't got shoes for them yet so they might wobble I won't do that actually I will lay them all just like that so you can see sort of the the beams of light as we are and now I've got a group okay so I've now got all four of these created into one group so you can see here, do I just put that in front of my face? I'll go out of focus. So we've now got group. Now what I want to do is go into group effect. Now th to do this, you have to spend hundreds of pounds per tube to get anywhere near this, to get anywhere near this functionality. You can do this on the application or you can do this through DMX control. We have a USB-C to a DMX kind of control so you can plug it into, a, with the right adapter, you can plug it into a DMX board. You can control each of those 16 pixels in each of these tubes. So you've got 16 pixels in all of these. So imagine you multiply these, you've got 20 tubes. You can do whatever you want. You know, you've got so much control over what you do with these and that is unheard of at this price point. So, you know, that's where probably the most amount of excitement is. So in terms of the group effect, what I want to do is I'm going to go process. I quite like process. So what I've got here is you can see that I've got the tubes and I'll stand them up and show them in a minute. And I'm going to create a background, a red background color. And then I'm going to create a blue foreground color because they separate quite nicely, red and blue. Um, pixel length, I'm going to just set that to, to one pixel length. I could do four and then basically all four of them are, are all being controlled. But I'm just going to do just do one pixel. I'm going to switch on and I'm going to increase the speed just so you can see it a little bit more. Now, what you've got is I've got four tubes all connected via the app into a group. Now, if I stand these up, you might not be able to see it because of the ISO on, on, the, old, uh, on the old camera. Hold on, is it doing it? Yeah, no, my ISO is... is is way 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 off right let me show you what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn the key off and show you stay there stay there right so the key is off now so you'll be able to see what these lights are doing and even more let me switch these guys off behind me let's kill kill any ambience so the only light you can see is coming through the window now what i've got is i've got four tubes each less than a hundred dollars or a hundred pounds individually um, they're all connected into a group and they're being controlled as a group so i stand those this, this is risky business and then stand that up like so because i haven't set the sands in there so you can see what's happening okay i'm creating an effect across these tubes so you see the one light is kind of moving between i can increase the speed of this I can slow it down, I can make it go backwards, or I can make it go forwards, I can create symmetry, so they meet on the outside and then come in on the inside. I can do this with as many tubes as I possibly want. Um, the other thing I can do is go into process, I can go scroll, so we've now got a scroll effect. Now I need to change the colours of this scroll effect, so I'm going to change the first one to red, I'm going to change the second colour to blue. Just again, because it's an easy color to reference. So you can see here that they now scroll. So I've now got a red and blue change in sequence of lights. Um, 
oh, yeah, like, <laughs> I just wanted to explain what you can do with these. Now, if you went out and bought an LED light off of Amazon for around about £100, you'd probably get poor light quality. Um, you know, you, you wouldn't get the best light quality. Um, you probably wouldn't get a, a huge amount of power output and you certainly wouldn't get pixel control and you definitely wouldn't get um, DMX control as well. So all of these features are all built into these tubes, which I think are phenomenal. So I'm going to switch these all off. I might, I might, just, I might just leave them. Um, so yeah, so you could then configure these. You can hang these from a the ceiling. You could do whatever you want. That is the over, overview quick overview of the Pavo, Nanlite Pavo Tube 7X. Uh, I think I think they're phenomenal in my opinion. I'm biased as I said earlier, but the features that it has, um, for the price point it has, they are unchallenged in, in the market currently. And I doubt they'll be challenged for some time yet. So um, yeah, look out for them. Hope you're excited. If you've got any questions, please do ask me. If you don't know already, I am the UK and European marketing manager for Nanlite. I have been for, for a few years now. I also have a kind of a YouTube channel. I'm trying to get back into it. Um, and yeah, these are one of the first products I want to do. We, we work with a load of content creators who will be making content with these over the coming weeks and the coming months um, because I'm quite excited by it and I want to kind of get my YouTube channel up and going again because i enjoy making the videos i wanted to make this video for you guys so if you have any questions please do pop them down below i'm happy to help um, please do follow nanlite on all of our socials head over to our youtube channel as well and yeah we yeah what more can i say i hope you've enjoyed the presentation stay safe and i will catch you all soon take care ciao